Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> you guys caught me in the middle of uh, my meal. I missed the meal prep. You came in too late. Don't mind the uh, noise. It's a lot. Uh, it's a dryer. Anyway, so I've been doing alternate fasting. It goes good. It's going good. Um, I did this guy. Boom. Here it is. So I got over here um, black beans, red pepper, broccoli. Check it out. Okay, white rice. Rice came with the uh, bean sashes from Chilope, Chipotle. I uh, <clears throat> got the uh, uh, the rice and the beans from Chipotle. Did my own broccoli. I steamed it on the uh, uh, oven. I also uh, have uh, uh, red tomatoes. Mmm, so good. And uh, mmm. Unbelievable. I haven't eaten it for 26 hours. Mmm. Mmm. So good. It's, it's nice and warm because I warmed up the uh, rice and beans in the microwave. The broccoli I steamed it in hot water. Um, the red pepper just raw. And then um, Tomatoes also nice and fresh uh, from uh, a store, and uh, it's it's just man. There's no meat here. Mmm, broccoli is so soft. Wow, you know you appreciate those small things in your life. Mmm, another great choice. Boom, salsa water, mm. tangerine and lime. States zero calories, zero sodium, pure, pure carbonated water. You need it if you've been fasting for 25 hours. Mm. Oh my god. god. Mm. It's so delicious. It melts my mouth. Not so fine because I watch lots of YouTube guys and Instagram guys uh, eating. And I usually do it when I'm freaking fasting. Mm. And right now, I'm just in heaven. Nothing fried, nothing artificial. I broke my fast this way. I break my fast this way all the time. Um, first, I did it with uh, a protein shake, which was uh, 90 grams of protein. Then I had two protein bars, uh, which was 30 and 20, so 140. Over here, I probably got a little bit of protein. I don't do macros. Don't count my calories, because I really don't care. I mean, I don't exaggerate. I do have some uh, peanuts. But every time I cook, it's just which becomes better and better. And I love it. And like I said, all you have, I can't switch the camera, but all you have is vegetables here. Vegetables and rice for the carbs. We have a half an hour workout. And uh, that worked out great. Oh my God. Mmm. Unbelievable. Green beans. Guys, if you fasting, you don't want to be breaking your fast with uh, hardcore fried food and artificial stuff. And that's the problem. You know, lots of people work and uh, they don't have the uh, advantage of either cooking for themselves or they don't have the time or they got to work. And you make bad choice. But you know what? When I did intermittent fasting, I did it for 20 hours. I only ate one meal a day. I didn't eat for four hours. I just ate one meal, I was full. What the hell? Folks are going nuts. So, you know, I only had that opportunity to eat once. That's what is so good, but uh, cup soda, whatever you want to call it. 
But you know what? Honestly, let me get some more water. I'm going to put things on the side because i got to move my... Uh, yeah. I'm in heaven, guys. Purely in heaven. And here we go with the covering water. So, yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I lost uh, was it, 48 pounds. Seriously, eating the same thing every day. It was, was uh, hero. Yes, it was bread, carbs. It was a hero. Lettuce, tomatoes, no mayo. Um, and I had lettuce, tomatoes, monster cheese, and ham. That's what I had. Salt, pepper. Every single day. Five days a week. I had that. I had, of course, party mix chips. So I got pretzels, this and that, and all that. And I always had peanuts, raw peanuts, nothing sweet. Now I get, sometimes I get sweet peanuts because I crave sugar, obviously. Uh, I've been fasting since January, right now we're in July. So it's been quite a while, but I see the results. I like the results. I'm, I'm very happy, you know? <clears throat> that's, that's what really, really counts. And as a matter of fact, um, I, I read more about fasting and I learn more. Mm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, vegetables. Mmm. It's nice and warm. I'll put some ranch dressing, not naked. And uh, it just gives that beautiful flavor. Mmm. Yeah. It's just like a fucking alarm in my house. Mmm. Wow, beautiful flavor. I like the warmness. I put some sea salt, and of course, sea salt is good, when you, especially when you're fasting. You want to get sea salt in so you don't stay dehydrated. And uh, some of someone I don't like to drink a lot when uh, I'm fasting. Um, I would do probably two of these, all right, with the two of these. And uh, man, I piss all day and all night. Water goes to me like crazy. It's funny at the beginning, you know, you're hearing us like really yellow and dark and this and that. I just, um, I, right now I do uh, one day on, one day off. So when you eat, and I don't eat garbage, but when you eat, you know, all that gets cleaned out through your kidneys and your liver and your stomach digested and then. So my urine comes out like really dirty. Um, <clears throat> but the minute I uh, start fasting after after 12 hours, my urine is nice and clean like water. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. Small things that you appreciate in your life. You know, I saw lots of bodybuilders, six packs and all that. And, uh, man, I go through a lot. The steroids, you know, you take steroids, you, 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 you inject it about a thousand dollars in your ass. I mean, you gotta work out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tomato, sweet. Love it. Sugar, calories, oh, thank God, Jesus Christ. What a headache. Oh, let me see if I can turn that off. Uh, who cares? Mm mm. Oh, it's kind of off. Alright, we're back. So I turned it off. Yeah, so. Again, like I was saying, if you shot $2,000 worth of, $2, worth of steroids, you better work out. And steroids are addictive. Because you don't want to lose what you gain. And when you fast, you like, if you're bench eating, you got a problem. I don't know you people. Mm. Oh, crap. You know, I'm like just rice and a little bit of cheese. I really feel like I'm having a cheap oil. A little bit cheese. Mmm. Guys, you have to sit down and eat this with me. 
This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. mm. Almost done. The bowl is full. <clears throat> yeah, that's beautiful. You can have some rice for the carbs. Mm. Mm -mm. You don't have to graduate, you know. <clears throat> You don't have to exaggerate a lot. Don't kill yourself. You know, fasting is just times that you eat. And finally, book us. <clears throat> right now it's about 6 p.m. and I can eat till tomorrow morning. What I would do is, I'm good for now. Um, Probably I have a coffee with uh, cream in the morning, head out to work, and uh, have a sandwich at work at uh, noon, and put my clock for 24 hours, and do the same thing the following day, finish at 12 noon, and that will give me 24 hours fasting. And when I fast, I, I really don't drink. I just don't have to crave me for water. I do have hydration uh, tablets, water tablets that I can use but um, I haven't been craving that much of uh, water unless I'm feeling very lightheaded or I'm getting a headache it's different but um, I know that the uh, 20 24 hours 24 hours is a little bit more difficult than 20 hours so 20 and 4 which you do every day which my case I don't mm. Mm -mm. wow Amazing. Pure satisfaction, folks. My God. I'm so happy. It's a beautiful thing to eat. Mm. Oh, vegetables. So. <clears throat> a little bit over 2,000 calories. Right, I'm done. 2138 to be exact. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> feel good. I'm gonna get a real workout. I'll do some crunches. And uh, do one more coffee. I did uh, coffee before this. Well, so first I did black coffee, really, really strong. And then I had my protein shake. Pretty much before the protein shake, I visited the bathroom. We had a little meeting. It wasn't wasn't easy, but yeah, I got clean with that coffee. And then of course when I had the uh, protein shake, which is about sixty grams of uh, fiber. Uh, sixty sixty grams of fiber. That's a lot. <clears throat> so right after that, literally five minutes. I was back in a shitter doing my business. So <clears throat> then before I ate this, I uh, I really cleaned myself out. And mind you, I haven't eaten nothing for 24 hours. So whatever was in my small intestines or large intestine came out. But uh, again, guys, you have to be extremely strong. And man, it has to be in your heart. You really got to want it. You know, government saying like, "Well, <clears throat> we're not, we're not gonna sell uh, sodas anymore with 20 ounce and just gonna 16 and this and that." Nah, government should be controlling how much we drink. We should be able to control ourselves how much we want to drink. I do a diet Pepsi, and I'll do it often. And as a matter of fact, you know what? <clears throat> I for when I was fasting from January till now, every single day. I'd work with my lunch, <clears throat> I had 20 ounce Diet Pepsi. And you might say, yeah, Diet Pepsi, artificial sugar, sweetness, all that bull crap. You know, listen, let me tell you something. My brother thought the same exact thing. Um, no, I don't drink that garbage, this and that, drink a regular soda. So, of course, he went with his plan, drinking regular soda, and I went with my, my plan, 
<clears throat> which all my life I drank, uh, I drank diet soda. Moral to the story is that today he's 400 pounds diabetes. He has diabetes uh, type 2. And I, on the other hand, age of 48, have lost 48 pounds. Actually, this, this must be, uh, must be uh, in my uh, will because I'm 48 and I lost 48 pounds. And let's just say the 48 pounds, man, was so easy. It was just melting off of me. All I did, <clears throat> my calorie intake was 3,500 a day when I was 258 pounds, okay? I obviously, I obviously cut it all off to, oh God, maybe 500, 500 calories, seriously 500 calories. And man, it just kind of kept coming off and off and off. And I went from waist <clears throat> 38 to right now 31. That's seven, seven inches in my waist. That's, that's a great accomplishment. I am very happy in my age of 48 <clears throat> where everybody complains and everybody says and the myth says and the science and everything else says and the statistics and studies show that the minute you age, <clears throat> you will gain weight. The older you are, the more weight you're going to gain. And I went and I had to change my doctor because I moved from my neighborhood. I went to my new doctor. He says, dude, you don't smoke. You don't drink. You're, you're almost a perfect dude. You have no major injuries, no uh, operations, procedures, nothing. <clears throat> you're perfect. I have no cholesterol, no blood pressure, nothing, completely nothing. I am 100% lean, mean, sexy machine, if you want to say it that way, okay? So, it's very good. Guys, I'm telling you, if you are obese, you're overweight, you want to lose weight, man, do the 24, I'm sorry, do the 20 and, and then do the 20 and 4. Do that for six months after you do that. You can do 24 hours every other day. Remember, eventually your body's going to give out. My body gave out at uh, 208, 210 pounds, okay? And uh, <clears throat> what I mean by give out was that for me to lose weight, it would be difficult because I had my original calorie intake was 3,500 to maintain my, my body mass. I dropped it out to 500 and then... <clears throat> Obviously, my body in intake of calorie has changed. And since to maintain my weight, I would have to have, let's say, about um, 2,000 calories. I, I you know, I, I wasn't eating 2,000 calories, but I was depleted. And uh, I pretty much had to kind of eat one day and uh, don't eat the other day. <clears throat> I was, I was just, I felt really, really weak. Um, I had, sometimes I had headaches. So for me, it was time to cut it off and to switch it up. So I switched it over to protein only, bars and uh, shakes for the whole week. <laughs> didn't see a difference. I felt good, but I didn't see a difference. Uh, I was still weak. The minute, the minute I started um, consuming not regular food, but the minute I started consuming food throughout the day <clears throat> and to take off the, the following day, I feel much better. Now, why did I do that? Because I went into doing workouts. So I in the morning, I do 150 push-ups, and at night, I do 150 push-ups. During the day, <clears throat> I'll do shoulders, biceps, and I want to touch triceps. Of course, I also do my crunches. I'll ride a bicycle. Long story short, I was so depleted that when I started working out, it was getting getting even worse. So I says, let me try the shakes and protein bars for one week. Didn't really help much. Didn't see a huge difference. Didn't lose weight. Didn't gain weight. And I says, let me eat regular food for one day. And when I say regular food, this is for me. This is regular food. Pretty much salad and meats. I tried to keep up uh, to about uh, 200 grams a day with proteins, whether I get it from the meats or I get it from the uh, protein bars, or I get it from the uh, protein powder. I have to be above 200 grams. If I'm not, <clears throat> it's not time wasted or day wasted, but it is putting me behind schedule. 
And again, the way I look at it, I look at it as a long-term commitment rather than five weeks, two weeks, you know, six weeks. Um, <clears throat> you know, that's the problem with people do diet. Diet is something that you can't stick with for a long time. You know, a change, a change of your life <clears throat> and the way and the things you do in life pretty much can last forever. Um, you know, lots of people, I don't understand people when they smoke, they then quit for two years and then they go back to it. You just went to square one and <clears throat> you got to do everything all over again. You literally, whatever you have accomplished, you just lost. So you lost two years of your life because you didn't smoke for two years and now you started smoking again. So that's that's pretty much tough. Um, I try not to move backwards. I want to move forward. So yes, I started with extreme uh, intermittent fasting and... Uh, I did, did the 20 hours and 4 hours with no eating. I did that straight for 6 months every single day. Didn't skip one day. Didn't cheat on one day. Had great results. <clears throat> I listened to my body. I listened and my body says, look, you need energy. You need something that we can work with, especially when I start working out. And I was lo losing a lot of, uh, not necessarily body muscle, but I lost a lot of body mass. Remember... Excuse me, when I was 258 pounds, but naked, and I lost all that, all you had is, excuse me, Jesus, pretty much veins and uh, muscle tissue. So for me not to jeopardize my muscle tissue, I uh, had to literally uh, feed myself with meat, and that's what I did. And now if you turn around, you walk, eating all the meat, where does that come from? That actually comes from Atkins diet, you know? So, I'm not saying, oh shoot, I put too much. I'm not saying put, you know, follow Watkins diet. I'm not saying become a keto, because man, keto, I did keto for 30 days, keto diet. There's no way you can stick with that, okay? Um, Atkins diet, I never tried it, because I, throughout my entire life, I feed in only meat and most of the meats. And I only gained weight because when I was full, I didn't stop. And because um, when I had a chance, I ate. <clears throat> and honestly, right now, besides that, I saved tons of money because I would spend pretty much, uh, let me see, about $100 a week. That's five days to feed myself. And $100 is a lot because that's $200 out of your paycheck uh, every two weeks. Or let's say your paycheck is two grand, but still you gotta take out a hundred dollars just for, for food, for eating. And I didn't like that. <clears throat> so in this the, these six months, I besides that I've saved lots of money. I didn't really have to spend any money because everybody was cooking in the house, and you had the COVID nineteen, and we well, still do. And uh, <clears throat> I pretty much brought my own food to work. I ate what I wanted. And literally, when you don't eat 20 hours, you, folks, you can eat whatever you want. And I guarantee you're going to have a little bit of chips, and you're going to say, like, no, I'm good. Then you're going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, macaroni, and I'm good. Then you're going to have a little bit of ice cream, you're going to say, I'm good. You're going to have uh, a banana, you're going to say, I'm good. You're going to have a candy, cookie, uh, Snicker bar, whatever you want. You, at one point, you're going to say, oh, man, I am so full, I am so good. And that really happens after your first meal. So the minute you have that meal, your craving is gone. So I always, the way I said it was, I want chips. I always had chips at work. <clears throat> I want something sweet, a candy bar. I always had a candy bar. I wanted a cookie. I love raisin cookie. I had always cookie, a raisin cookie. I says, I want an apple. I want a banana. I had peanuts. I had everything that I craved. You know why? <clears throat> because just like today, Throughout the whole day, I planned ahead what I want to eat. Why? Because you continuously crave food. But like I, when I cook for my son because I can't eat it, I love cooking for him because it, it just, I know that I could cook good stuff for him, healthy things. And I know if that makes me feel good, meaning eating healthy, um, he, he's going to feel great too. Um, as a matter of fact, today he had two scrambled eggs. He had red pepper, and uh, he had milk. I mean, how awesome is that? He had all the protein he wanted or he needed, 
with the milk, with the eggs, and he did have the red pepper. I loved it. It's very good and soft on your stomach, very easy to digest, especially for eight year old kids. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, right now he's going to have a whole, homemade uh, cheeseburger off the grill, which you can't beat it, a uh, grass fed, uh, you know, beef. And uh, <clears throat> he doesn't drink soda, so when he does, he'll either drink my salsa or he'll drink uh, water. Mm. It's beautiful. Why would I drink anything like Diet Coke, oh my God, or any Coke, um, regular Snapple, or uh, even uh, regular Coke, or regular Pepsi? Oh, guys, I think can of Pepsi, small can of Pepsi, is like 65 grams of sugar. That is crazy. That's about 10 spoons of sugar. That's crazy. But anyway, so listen, guys, food was awesome. Oh, that's cool. I'm telling you. But anyway, if you guys didn't subscribe to this channel, subscribe. Follow my journey. I'm uh, trying to uh, uh, see if I'm going to build a bike, if I'm going to have my bike upgraded, if I'm going to put a bigger motor. I definitely want to go to 1500 watt motor. That will put me out to 34 uh, miles an hour. Our mayor, I changed the laws about the electric bikes. You can go as fast as 25 miles and that's it. <clears throat> Which is pretty, pretty decent. And uh, nothing, nothing faster than that. <clears throat> no license required. But, uh, I mean, listen, regardless, I will still build, once my battery goes in an electric bike, I'll still put a 60 volt in it. 72 volt is too expensive. 60 is right there. On the, on the barrier where I want to go, um, <clears throat> you know, battery 60 volts or 25 amps, it's about 450 $500, so it's not like it's a cheap deal. So, and uh, to that, I would have to put a, uh, a 2000 or 3000 watt motor, so it gets expensive. It's with, with the uh, the hub motor for the rear and the battery, to about thousand dollars. So, but there is there is uh, uh cool uh things. Uh, around nice nice bikes and <clears throat> unfortunately right now China has shut down COVID-19 shut down the entire state and entire country it just nothing's been delivered fucking dumbbells 25 pound dumbbells go for like hundred dollars fucking people are, uh, uh, <clears throat> are freaking uh, ripping each other off they're gouging prices like crazy fucking you know trying to make money off of a goddamn fucking big ass you know virus dilemma issue you know that that is imp impacting the entire world you know, the market, the uh, uh, employment, uh, you know, status, you know, people lost their jobs. It's a sad situation. But, you know, like I say, if you can't do nothing outside and you're stuck in a house doing jack shit, start doing intimate fasting and you're going to love it. You're going to come out from your house in six months and you're going to look beautiful and you're going to feel healthy. As a matter of fact, everybody tells you when you're sick, when you go to the hospital, your body does not want to eat. You know why? <clears throat> your body is very busy fighting that fucking COVID-19 or the virus whatsoever. If you get sick, let me tell you, do fasting 20 hours for or do 48 hours one day off back to 48 hours. You're going to kill that damn thing, no problem. I'm not like your uh, 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 president, you know, spray your lights or fucking bleach or drink it or whatever. Do fasting. Fasting, if you read about fasting, it will... You had cured a lot of people, uh, reversed uh, cancer, reversed obesity, reversed uh, 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 cholesterol, and uh, uh, lots of lot, lots of uh, different things. Uh, type two diabetes has been reversed, but you can't be scared. You got to do it when you when you're sick. Type two diabetes and all of that. <clears throat> you got to do it, a doctor. But anyway, let me get out of here because it's been thirty minutes. I'm talking shit, folks. Sign up. Uh, you know, hit that bell uh, notification so you can be uh, up to date with uh, all the garbage that I got. There's a few videos that I got there, you know, uh, some corruption videos and this and that. I might upload some uh, oath hearings, some, uh, <clears throat> you know, disciplinary hearings and here and there. Let me know if you want to hear those. So some equal opportunity employment hearings, you know, for survive statements, perjury and all that. All right? Talk to you later, guys. Bye.